Miss Liz. I've got a 4th of July story time here for you today. Um, we're going to read The Night Before the 4th of July. And this book is real similar to The Night Before Christmas, so those books are always kind of fun. And we're also going to make a craft today. And this is what it's going to look like. Happy 4th of July. It's backwards for you, but that's okay. Right. The night before the 4th of July. Twas the night before the 4th of July, and all across the USA, Americans were gearing up for Independence Day. Mom tied up the bunting while I gave Dad a hand. We hung up the flag from our porch stand. If you don't know what bunting is, it's the stuff right here. That night we both slept, sprawled out in our beds, while visions of fireworks popped in our heads. The next morning we dressed up in red, white, and blue. I even wore stars, one on each shoe. We lined up on Main Street. Look, here comes the parade float. Hooray for the marching band and the 4-H goats. The mayor tossed candy. I shouted, here, here. And uh, as Uncle Sam, walking on stilts, brought up the rear. Friends and family came over for a backyard barbecue. Dad fired up the grill as a storm started to brew. The goodies were set on the picnic table with care. Get them while they're hot, you hollered Dad, flipping burgers in the air. Does your dad flip burgers in the air? But just when we sat down, it started to pour. Grab the food, shouted Mom. And we raced through the door. In hot dogs, in salads, in blueberry pie, in melon and corn. Keep those potato chips dry. We gathered in the kitchen and spilled into the hall. Squeeze in, said Mom, there's room for us all. As we munched on our food, Grandma turned to Grandpa. There'll be no fireworks show if this rain doesn't stop. What? We all shouted. No rockets, red glare? Fourth of July without fireworks? That's totally not fair. When what to our wondering eyes should appear? With the rain suddenly stopping, the sky was now clear. We piled in the car and drove to the park. We threw down a blanket as it began to grow dark. Dad was the sparklers. We drew circles in the air. We snapped glow sticks on our wrists and glow halos in our hair. The first firework was launched high into the night. It bloomed like a flower, exploding with light. Whiz, crackle, boom! Woohoo! shouted the crowd. But my brother covered his ears and whimpered, It's too loud! The band played the national anthem. Dad sang, Oh, say, can you see? And that's when I covered my ears because he was way out of key. And now the grand finale, wow, the best I'd 
seen yet. A sky filled with color. A show I'll never forget. When the last firework fizzled like fairy dust in the sky, we all cheered and shouted, Happy Fourth of July. That was a great story. All right, so here's the craft that we're going to make. Happy Fourth of July. So some of the materials that you need are red, white, and blue paper. If you don't have the colors of paper, you can always use a marker or a crayon. You're going to need a ruler, a glue stick, a marker, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your paper and you're going to use a ruler and you're just going to kind of draw a line so you get this nice, whoops, you're going to get this nice thin strips of red construction paper. You might need five or six. We'll have to see. I'll do one more. And then you're going to cut them out. Just cut straight down the line. And they don't have to be perfect. That's okay. But if you use your ruler, they'll be similar in size. And the next thing you're going to do is take your blue paper and you're going to put your hand on there, spread out your fingers a little bit, and trace it. Um, if you can't do that yourself, ask your grown-up or a big brother or sister to help give you a helping hand and you just trace around your fingers. And around your thumb. You can just catch these pieces right here and we'll cut it out. And if you need help with cutting, once again, you can ask for a little bit of help. My hand's a little big. white paper and we're going to put our ruler up at the top and we'll get our red paper and you can just put one line of glue right there you don't have to cover the whole thing and you can stick it on there it looks like my strips are a little bit longer than the paper so I'll go back in a little bit and I will trim that off. And we'll just keep alternating the ruler and the strips. So it looks like a flag or stripes on the flag. All oh, my strips are just a little bit too long, but that's okay. One more at the bottom. There we go. Now I'll give these a little trim. Next, 
you're going to take your, your hand and it's going to go on here like this. And your thumb's going to go this way. So you're doing like four, 54. So I'm not going to put glue on this side, but I'm going to flip it over and add some glue here. Oops. A little bit on the bottom. Stick it right in the middle. And press it down. So then this thumb, so you can get the, the four look. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this side and then flip it over. I'm just going to hold it there for a minute. Maybe you could count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there we go. So now you can write happy at the top. Happy. Fourth of July. Now you can spice it up a bit. You could put little circles on all these letters. Like that. You can even, uh, it will look very cool if you line it like this on your strips. The best part about doing art is making it your own unique picture. July. You can just keep adding little things on here to make it cute. All right, everyone. Have a happy 4th of July. Have you joined up for the Summer Learning Challenge? Sign up today for Dig Deeper, Read, Investigate, and Discover. The challenge is going on now through July 25th. You can sign up online at www.newlenoxlibrary.org slash summer.